Hey, what's going on everyone? It's B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. This one is by 20th Century Fox titled The Darkest Minds. I have no idea who's in this movie. I have no idea what it's about. I saw it pop up on my feed yesterday and I knew I was going to react to it today when I got off work. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what it's about. So you guys can stop listening to me talk after I put on these headphones and watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. If you can hear this, you're one of us. If you're one of us, you can find us. You hear this, you're one of us. Soon, there wouldn't be any kids anywhere. Damn, there's a lot of buses. The government wasn't afraid of what happened to the ones that didn't make it. They were afraid of us. Because the ones that survived oh, snap. changed. Yeah, I'm already on board with this. It looks good. <laughs> Even before I saw that. And that black girl. Ruby, you are very rare. What's Among up? the most powerful. We know our time is near. We're going to a place where kids can live together on the outside. It was an X-Man part two. People who would ever help us were us. Don't stop! <laughs> For their safety and yours, please turn over your children. I'm smart enough to know you're hiding something. And you're smart enough to be hiding it. I just didn't want you to be afraid of me. The more that I try to control it, the more damage that I do. I can show you how to use song. your strengths the way they're meant to be used. We can fight back. We don't have to stay in darkness. We've survived all of this. <laughs> Come here, girl! <laughs> I will fight for all of us. Wait to see how that plays out. <laughs> Man, I thought about like seven jokes simultaneously uh, at that one part. I, I geeked at it. Okay, darkest minds. Well, yeah, the darkest minds. I oh, don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to see you. There's another YouTube from the pop up here on my screen. So I got it pulled up right here on uh, IMDb, but uh, all I see right here, I didn't, because I, when I started the trailer, I said, I don't know what it's about, who's who's in it. All I have is like the title here and the poster. Uh, but that black girl, I think she black and white, uh, Malato, um, she was in that movie, came out, I think last year called, it was where she was sick and she couldn't leave the house and her neighbor was a guy, a new neighbor and came over uh, and they kind of fell in love or feeling like what is see i think imdb should have a rule to where the main stars at the top is this is that who that is that what it, amanda steinberg is that yep because it was uh everything you know i feel so silly that is a uh, rule from um from the hunger games then she didn't grow up Oh no! Cause yeah, Rue came out. Rue came out. The Hunger Games came out in 2012. So that's uh six years from now. I hope she's of age. I'm up here saying she's cute and stuff. For did I say she was cute? Hold on. How old are you? Where are you at? Where's your age? 98. So you a baby. You are 20 years old. Yeah, you know, you cute. You can't even talk to my brother, my younger brother. But anyway, about the movie. Let's see. Let me read the uh, synopsis for this because that looks. I mean, it reminds me of X Men. It seems like it's the same thing as X Men, just with a different take or whatever. And that's fine. I mean, we have more than one action movie, more than one comedy, more than, you know, 
you you know you understand what I'm trying to say. But I may actually end up liking this a lot more than what Fox did with their X Men films, especially X One, Two, and Three in the 2000s, 2004, and 2006, or 2003 and 2006. Because I'm not attached to the Darkest Minds. I was attached to the X Men, so it's like you you didn't do it right from the cartoon or the comics. You know, no, it doesn't seem like that. But it seemed real cool when I do say, hey, no matter what happens. Uh, uh, don't stop and he uses power to break the tree or throw the log out there uh, imprisoned by an adult world that now fears everyone under 18 a group of teens from a resistance group to fight back and reclaim control of the future so I guess the thing that is different from the X-Men uh, world is that uh, only the children or I was going to call them mutants uh, only the children have special abilities the director of this is Jennifer U. Nelson Never heard of her before. Oh, but it sounds like I should have because she has done Kung Fu Panda. Now, did you, what did you do with Kung Fu Panda? Did you direct it? Okay, you have four directing credits. Kung, oh, Spawn the TV series, 98, 99. I vaguely remember that. Uh, she directed Kung Fu Panda 2 and 3. Now, to me, Kung Fu Panda, the first one was the best. You know, especially Tiger. You know, on that mountain, t- Tigris or whatever. I love that. You, know, you had Mantis on there as well and Snake. Um, you know, yeah, I like Kung Fu movies and the Kung Fu movies too. And it's not just Kung Fu. It's Kung Fu as well. Yin and Yang. All the good stuff. Um, is there anybody else in this movie that I know? Gwendolyn Christie. I don't know her personally, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, uh, okay, here's a longer synopsis. When teens mysteriously develop powerful new abilities, they are declared a threat by the government and detained. 16-year-old Ruby, one of the most powerful young people anyone has ever encountered, escapes her camp and joins a group of runaway teens seeking safe haven. Soon, this newfound family realizes that a world in which the adults in power have betrayed them running is not enough and they must wage a resistance using their collective power to take back control of their future. I'm on board with that. Also kind of reminds me of Logan, you know, because, you know, they were trying to escape as well, too. But that seems so clean. Do it. You know, when I was like, come here, girl. <laughs> like, I had that power. I mean, it was, it was uh, uh, was it? I always get telekinesis and uh, telepathy. Not anyway. Was it? Is it a telepath? No. It's, I can't remember if a telepath is somebody that can control things. Uh, control moving objects and one of them is control with the mind telepath telepath definition the supposed communication of thoughts or ideas by means other than the known senses telepathy telekinesis what am I tripping psycho the power I don't want to go to no website I'm trying to get the definition or, or the website will be on a different the definition will be on the website damn I can't find it what oh, I don't want that wiki is a term used either alternate name okay this is taking too damn long but um, I didn't know nothing about this movie. Uh, I didn't have any interest in it, but I have interest now, and I want to see it now. But y'all, yeah, guys, this uh, this film right here looks pretty good, but it's just a trailer. When does it come out? I think I saw August or something like that. Um, but yeah, and uh, guess what, guys? Over the past few weeks, there have been a ton of trailers that I have not reacted to, and I'm gonna react to them this weekend and next week too. So it's going to be a new segment called Super Late Reaction. So stay tuned for that. But guys, of the Darkest Minds, that is just my opinion for this trailer. What did you think of the trailer? You know, were you surprised as I was? Or like, uh, you know, I don't really care. Do you, you know, do you like it? Did you hate it? Do you agree with me? Or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to the channel. You can look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is right there at the bottom of your screen, and I made it very easy by providing a link also down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for the Darkest Minds trailer starring 
Amandala Steinberg. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brennan Kitavery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.